gonna make the same mistakes twice, I hope. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel to my little corner of the internet here where we talk about luxury designer handbags so for today i have a very exciting video i mean louis vuitton was my first big laugh as it is for many people i think <laughs> and yeah i just want to show you my current louis vuitton handbag collection and i have had many many more louis vuitton bags in my collection in the past however there was a point where i was like looking at my handbag collection and evaluating it and i was thinking you know what, like the nice little pops of color here and there, they were like all drowning in a sea of brown monogram canvas. <laughs> so I've decided to let a couple of bags go and if you haven't seen my bags I've sold in Y video yet, please go and check that one out. And yeah, so let's get right into today's video. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm just grabbing what's closest to me now. So <laughs> the bags are in no particular order and yeah, so let's get started. In general, I think I try to really focus on a well curated handbag collection like I I try to balance it out so I think that's why I let so many pieces go in the past but yeah let's get into what I have in my collection right now so this is a beautiful Louis Vuitton Victoire in the black leather um, this bag comes in several different options I think you can choose to have red leather blue leather which is like a navy blue um, the black um, you can choose to get this bag in python, so the black leather parts here, they are basically then replaced by python leather parts. It looks pretty nice as well, um, however it's a bit more expensive than the regular leather bags and yeah, I am a big big fan of this bag. It is like, of course, a classic flat bag, so it comes with this beautiful golden chain and it's like this really really rich gold hardware and yeah, I'm I'm... A big big fan of this I mean look at this beautiful bag so the bag is plain there are no pockets or anything however yeah I think it's a stunning stunning beauty definitely one of my favorite pieces I'm really happy to have this in my collection and I think it's the perfect bag if you just like go into the city and you throw all your essentials in and you're good to go okay so next up is my Louis Vuitton Speedy in the 25 centimeter and this bag has been with me for about two years now and you can see it has patinaed quite a bit however it's very even I'm very proud of it and I'm a big fan of the Speedy 25 I did have a Speedy 30 first originally um, however, the size didn't look great on me, so I decided to let that one go. It was also very slouchy whenever you put something in. I feel like the Speedy 25 keeps its shape a lot better um, if you fill it up. And yeah, I mean, it's a really, really nice bag, very practical. Um, this one was made for Audrey Hepburn initially, which is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, those bags, they come with a lot of history. Um, same as the Louis Vuitton Alma bag. Um, this is the PM size, and this one was initially made for Coco Chanel herself. <laughs> I think that's really, really great facts, but yeah, we get into this one in a second. So, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Speedy 25. It's an easy everyday bag, you can just throw everything in and yeah, you're good to go. I do like the original version a lot more. Um, I know a lot of people go for the bandolier um, versions nowadays, however, um, yeah, I think they look a little bit more casual. Of course, they're very practical, but I always told myself if I really wanted to be hands-free with the Speedy 25, I could just attach like a little shoulder strap on the handles and then basically carry it over my shoulder as well. <laughs> yeah guys, so um, I've recently done a video um, comparing the patina on both of these bags. So if you haven't seen that one yet, please go and check that one out too. Um, because this one is the newest addition to my handbag collection. It's the beautiful classic Alma in the PM size. <laughs> and um, yeah, I always like the Alma. I did have that one in a vintage model from 1996 once <laughs> however i let it go and um yeah i did regret it ever since <laughs> so i repurchased that one and i'm very happy with this one and that one won't leave my collection ever again <laughs> i'm not gonna make the same mistakes twice i hope <laughs> okay so um this one is as you can see very new the patina is still entirely white and yeah i can't wait for this one to start aging as well and Get this beautiful honey patina. I mean, I think the bags always look amazing once they get their first 
signs of character. <laughs> okay, then I do have one more monogram piece in my collection and this is the Louis Vuitton Comeback in the reverse monogram canvas. And since the reverse monogram canvas came out, I'm a huge fan of it and I definitely want to add another piece of reverse monogram in the future to my collection. I'm not quite sure yet which one. Um, currently I do really like the new Louis Vuitton backpack that came out in this monogram canvas. I can't remember the name at the moment. I will find it and I will put it in there. <laughs> so um, yeah, I do really like that one. Um, however, I don't know why I do really like the reverse monogram canvas with the black leather lining. So I'm not 100% sure that I do like this light brown leather surrounding the reverse monogram canvas. We see. <laughs> I will still have to see that one in person and yeah, then I'm gonna make a decision. Um, but yeah, so the Louis Vuitton comeback is I think an artwork. I I love this bag, I mean look at it, and um, if you want me to do an in-depth review on like any of those bags then please let me know in the comment section down below. So I will definitely do a review on this one at some point and also a story time video because I actually had to go through three different can bags to get a perfect one. <laughs> because I mean we all know that Louis Vuitton's quality control has gone down a little bit in the recent years. Um, so I did have to go through three cum bags to find one that didn't come with any flaws. But now I do have this one and I'm very happy with her. So yeah, this is the beautiful bag. I do really like the round shape. So it's like flattened at the back so that it lies nicer on your body, which is definitely a good, good um, attribute. And yeah, it does come with a shoulder strap as well that you can attach at both sides. But like I said before, I'm definitely going to do an in-depth review on this one as well. <laughs> oh, okay, so how could I forget about this one? <laughs> so this is my last um, Louis Vuitton bag in the monogram canvas. Um, and this is a really, really special one. I mean, most people probably do know that this is the Louis Vuitton Artsy. However, um, the regular Louis Vuitton Artsy comes with the untreated um, Bachetta leather handle as well. This one does come with this beautiful python handle. Um, let me see if I can focus in on that. Okay, so this is the beautiful python handle and yeah, this bag is really really special and I'll get into that in a second. It also does come with a little python keychain. I don't know how you want to call it. A um, little accessory that is dangling there at the back and yeah, I'm a big, big fan of the Artsy. It's a very comfortable bag. Um, I currently have it stuffed, like I always keep my bigger bag stuffed. Um, and so my SA is absolutely amazing. She is trying to always find really hard to find items for me if I really, really want um, a certain piece. And at the time that this one came out, I think there were only 10 bags made. Um, in the world, um, excluding California, because I do know that in California there are special rules and regulations um, when it comes to selling exotic leathers. So from what I've heard is that they've actually made a couple of these bags specifically for California, which came with a water snake handle. <laughs> not 100% sure, but I think that was it because Python is not allowed to be sold in California. But in general, so they've only made really a limited amount of pieces of this bag um, and yeah I'm, I'm, I'm really really happy that I did find this one. It was I think in 2017, this bag is from 2017 and uh, yeah I'm <laughs> absolutely in love with it. Of course you have to be careful um, if you take this one out in the rain, exotic skins shouldn't be in the rain um, but yeah so far it has aged beautifully and I've been wearing this bag quite a lot. <laughs> Next one is this beautiful Louis Vuitton Mirada bag and it's in the Amarante Verni leather and um, this one was my first ever Louis Vuitton handbag. This one was my first ever designer handbag. <laughs> um, it's from 2012, that's when I started my collection, my obsession <laughs> and um, yeah what can I say? I mean, I'm very, very happy that I did pick this bag and that it was in the Benny leather because it's a very durable leather and, you know, because you don't have to worry about it in the rain. If it ever gets wet, you just wipe the water off, basically, and it's it's absolutely fine. So it's a very stunning bag. Um, I did already get some requests um, to make a review on this one, so I think that one is going to be scheduled for Friday. Um, but yeah, it's a very beautiful bag. You can definitely still find it on the resale market. Um, 
what can I say? I'm, I'm still very much in love with this beauty. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, um, this is my beautiful Louis Vuitton Pasadena bag in the magenta color. <laughs> and yeah, it's a very stunning color. Um, I mean, let me try and capture this for you. So, oh, I don't know, I really love it. It's like a fuchsia pink, a very hot pink color. Um, yeah, I'm a big, big fan of this one. It's in the vanille leather as well, like my Mirada bag here. So they are both the same leathers and I can only recommend the vanille leather. And it does come with a shoulder strap as well. So you can definitely, you know, dress it up and dress it down, wear it casually as a crossbody bag or wear it as a nice little evening clutch on like the crook of your arm. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that was basically it. That was all my Louis Vuitton handbags and, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below which is your favorite Louis Vuitton bag in your collection. And yeah, I think I can't pick a favorite. I mean, I love all my bags and of course the Artsy is very special um, simply because it's such a rare piece, but yeah, you should never pick favorites, right? <laughs> okay guys, so that was it. That was my little Louis Vuitton handbag collection video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do understand the passion slash obsession that you have. <laughs> and how I always like to say, um, if you're already annoying your family and friends with talking too much about luxury designer handbags, then just join us here. <laughs> we all do have the same luxury disease. So yeah, I would be really, really happy if you join our little family right here. Okay guys, so um, I think that was it for today. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.